Good morning everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to our very first day of our 46th edition um, Sneaky Peaks. I'm super duper excited about this release. If you have been following me for quite some time now, you all know how much I love I just love fall. I love everything about it. I love Halloween, Thanksgiving, and especially, number one, the weather. <laughs> and, well, actually, I should say, that would be number two. Number one would be everything pumpkin. Okay, so anyways, I'm super duper excited because um, we have some really cute, adorable, sneaky peeks for you this week. So, we're going to go ahead and jump right in and get started because there's lots for you to see on my blog today. Okay, today we are showcasing two new items okay as you know um, also if you've been following me you know that I like to do a freebie um, on for the very first 150 shoppers so basically at all the sneak peeks that we are um, doing Monday through Thursday they will be available for sale this Friday okay I believe it's the 21st um, starting at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time okay and at that time, I usually, as soon as it go, all of these uh, items go live, usually I offer a freebie for the first 150 shoppers, okay? And basically, after the 150th shopper comes through, um, you will see it in the store. It'll be along with the new release items. Um, but keep in mind, it is sold separately. It's not part of the bundle. So when you see it in the store, that means you actually missed your opportunity, your window. So I highly suggest if you do want the freebie, um, you might want to shop early for it, okay? So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to first of all show you the freebie, okay? So this is it right here, this adorable little stamp right here. It's called Fantastic Day. And it comes with this super duper cute little guy there. And the sentiment, of course, is have a fantastic day. And then we have the, the coordinating die that goes with it. Oops, let me close that. Which is right here, okay? So, of course, you'll have different packaging, but um, I just repackaged mine. So, that is the freebie, freebie this adorable little stamp. Set, set of two stamps with the coordinating die, okay? So that is the first, that's the freebie, okay? Now for the first item we are showcasing today that's part of the release is um, we are releasing uh, stitch square dies inside and out, okay? I've been getting asked for these like forever now and I it finally came in line <laughs> because I have my things of what I have that I, you know, want to do and this hit this turn his turn finally came up. So I could go ahead and show you these because these are just dies, okay? So basically here, the biggest die is about maybe, I believe, 5 and 2 sixteenths, the square right here. The biggest die is 5 and 2 sixteenths. And the smallest, I'm going to have to measure the small die for you. So keep in mind when you do get these, you are going to have to take them all apart before you could use them, okay? Okay. And the smallest die is one and two sixteenths, okay? So you are gonna have to separate them using a little wire cutter or your little snips. Um, just keep in mind, very important, I would highly suggest you wearing some safety glasses because these little parts can fly. So the best way for you to separate these, I usually grab my garbage can and I put them literally, and I put them in the garbage. Well, I don't lay them in there, but I hold them in the garbage and I use my little snips, which I have right here. Um, then it says clearly on here, use safety glasses, okay? And I use my snips and I cut them inside the garbage can. And you're safe that way because just in case you do have small parts, it'll fall in the garbage can rather than somewhere on the floor where you cannot find it. So, again, um, you definitely want to wear some kind of safety glasses just to make sure you're safe while you're doing this. Um, so, that is it for the these square dies. So, I'm going to show you what we made with it, okay? So, I made this card. Look at how <laughs> super duper cute. Look at how cute he is. What I did, I'm going to use my little bone folder here. I'm not sure if you can see by the fangs, I made two little blood drips, like a little drops of blood just coming out from the fangs, just to kind of give it a little bit more of a fun effect. Um, 
So I did is I colored him in, colored him in using my um, the Zig Clean color brush markers. I used those markers. Um, and then here goes the little square dies. Isn't this super duper cute? Basically, I just, um, this is just, uh, what do you call that? Some pattern paper from my stash. I'm not sure where it came from. And then I just wanted to grab some um, purple car sock from my scraps as well. So perfect thing to use your scraps for if you want to just make a small little um, area for you to layer something on it's perfect and there goes the sentiment have a fantastic day and I went ahead and I finished it off with some super cute little sparkling clear um, secrets from pretty pink posh okay everybody so that is it for today that is our sneaky peek for today I hope you enjoy this cutie patootie uh, don't forget to visit my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my amazing amazing design team has done with this um, for you today and also we do have two extra special guest designers joining us so don't forget to visit my blog to see who they are and like always, don't forget to comment, uh, leave your comments for a chance to win the two items we are showcasing today, which will be these two right here, the stitch squares inside it out. And that basically means there's squares stitching on the outside and on the inside. Um, so you'll have an opportunity to win these two items. So go ahead, leave your comments on our blogs, and I will announce the winner uh, tomorrow morning on my blog. Okay, everybody? So have a fabulous, fabulous day, and I will see you back here for day two of our sneaky peeks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.